as a means to protect travelers going to and from Europe to the Holy Lands, the Templars developed a system where travelers could deposit funds, then access them through a document, we call them checks. During their travel, without having to carry money while on the trips, as this was dangerous and exposed them to thieves and robbers along their trip. Non-combatant members of the order, who made up as much as 90% of their members, managed the banking system for the Templar order. This was the foundation of the banking system and first formal system to support the use of checks. In addition to lending funds to kings and other nobility, the Templars were a true banking system far beyond what was common at the time. Upon joining the Templars, the Knights pledged their wealth to the order, helping to grow their banking system wealth. The banking system was the imagination of the Templar order and we now build upon their imagination. The sea was most important to the Templars, not only for the transport of men and goods, brothers and supplies had to be dispatched to the east. In addition, the administration of the order also necessitated numerous voyages. While Templars were further used as envoys by popes and rulers, while the Templars mainly plied the Mediterranean, they also transited to England, Scotland, and Ireland. There are cases where the Templar ships reached Iceland, and indications have been found that they may have reached as far west as the eastern area of now Canada, with Templar markings perhaps found on Oak Island in Nova Scotia. 